Hello students, today we are going to discuss another sample paper for your term two informatics practices exam. Let's begin. Question number one, it is having an internal choice. So moving to the first or part, choose the most appropriate wireless communication channel in each of the following situation, communication in hilly area. So in hilly area, we will be using radio waves. Second one, very fast communication between two offices in two different countries. Two different countries is the hint. So we will be using satellite. Since it is a wireless communication channel, we will be going with the satellite, which is the fastest among them. Now, or part, define the term hub. Also explain briefly the active hub and passive hub. Hub means what? It's a networking device used to connect different computers all together. Hub will be sending the signal to another computer in a broadcast mode. An active hub means what? It will be electrically amplifying the signal when uh, from one computer to another. And it will be acting like a repeater. Repeater means it will be acting like a repeater if the cable length is more. Okay, whereas in passive hub means what? It will be allowing the uh, signal to pass from one computer to another without any change and does not need any electricity. Question number two is having two subparts. First one, I refer to a small network communication. I am a computer network. So it's a computer network you want to explain. And it is around an individual person. I involve with mobile computer, cell phone, or a handheld computing device such as PDA, that is PDA Full Form is Personal Digital Assistant, who am I? So since it is a network that is around the proximity of an individual, we will be talking about PAN, Personal Media Network. Sub part of two, name any two network topology. You can mention any valid topology, uh, example, star topology, best topology, etc. So, pan and this topology, or you can have uh, any other like tree, mesh, everything you can mention. Question number three again, it is having an internal choice. Select the output, predict the output. So, first one, in string, in string is the function which will be returning the position of the first occurrence of the character in the given string so you have to see that where is this two occurring one two three four five six seven eight nine sixth and eighth and ninth position it is occurring among that first position is what six so six is the answer mid function select mid artificial intelligence comma 12 comma 5 that means uh, you have to see from the 12th position you want to extract five character okay so we'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Space also will be counted. 12. So from here, 5 characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Intel is your output. Or part is like you want to explain about two date or time functions in SQL with suitable example. Even if it is not mentioned like with example, you should, if it is asked for definition, you please do write with an example. So you can mention any of the date or time function you have studied, like now, then month, month, name, year, day, day, name, any of that you can use on. So here it is given month and month name. So month function, it will be returning the month part from the date given uh, in within a range one to 12. So example, select month of a date will be passed from this month. This is year, month, day format. So it will be returning this one three as the output. Month name, it will be returning the name of the month from the date specified as the argument. So three means what? What is that three? Uh, January, February, March. So it will be returning the output as March. So in the form of a SQL statement, it's if you write the output. Question number four. Kaden has a set up a uh, network of computers. Now he want to prevent the unauthorized access according to some filtering or blocking rules. Suggest him the solution. The solution to prevent unauthorized access to the network of computers is firewall. Okay, solution to that is firewall. He has to install firewall in his network. Now, fifth one is like output question. Select round of, uh, this is round function. Uh, this is the thing given number and two stands for the number of decimal places. But in our number, we are having four decimal places. So two has to be removed. Before removing, you have to see the first number that is seven. Is it greater than or equal to five? Yes, so plus one has to be added to the previous number. So five will become seven. So your output will be 6.57, okay? And uh, 
second one uh, here it is given as minus 2 so minus 2 means it will be going here to this side okay so minus 2 your cursor will be this is minus 1 this is minus 2 the cursor will be on to 3 so 3 is greater than 5 no so no change in the previous number so it will be 5 what will happen to these 3 and 4 it will be replaced by 0 and when we are having here either 0 or negative number there will be no decimal part okay the number will be a integer no floating it's, it will not come as a floating point number question number six prashansa is using the table employee has following columns these are the columns she want to display the maximum salary department wide that's a hint given she wrote the following command um this is select department called comma max of salary from employee but she is not getting the correct output and you want to help hear her to get the correct output so you know that when it is a hint like department wise given that you have to use the group by close so here what she missed that so select department code max of salary from employee group by department code so she has to write that also to get the correct desired output Now, question number seven, it is again having an internal choice. Miss Anusha is the production manager of the company. This is a table name product. Okay, and she has you have to predict the output for the following queries. So select manufacturer max of uh, price, min of price, count star from the product. So there are four column manufacturer max of price, min of price and count star. And you have to group by manufacturer. So lakh that will be the first manufacturer. ABC will be the second one and XYZ will be the third one manufacturer wise. And what is the maximum for price for lakh? This one 40, even the minimum price is also this one. For what is the counter? How many are there? Manufacturer with the lack uh, name, only one. So that will be the output as one. For ABC, what is that? Uh, manufacturer name is ABC. What's the maximum price? 55. What is the minimum price? 45. How many are there with ABC? That is two. Then next one is like uh, XYZ. XYZ means what? How many are there? Maximum price is 120. Minimum price is 95. And uh, uh, what is how many are there? 2. And uh, your count star will be 2. So this is your output. You can see lakh, ABC and XYZ as we have mentioned. So here while writing time, you give the heading also manufacturer, max of price, min of price and count star. That also you give in your output. Here, question number two, select a manufacturer comma max of price from product. So among this, which is a manufacturer with the maximum price, X, Y, Z, 120. So that will be your output. Now, moving to the or part of that, you want to display, um, you want to write the SQL query for this one to display the name and price of product in descending order of price. So, what is that select product name comma price from product order by price BESC since it's, it's the ascending order this keyword you have to use next one is to count the product manufacturer wise so again here manufacturer wise means what you have to use the group by close so count the star and manufacturer that are the two columns so select manufacturer comma count star from product group by manufacturer so our section a got over now moving on to section B, which is of three marks each. First one is to predict the output, select right of India is my country, comma seven. That means from the right side, you want to extract seven character, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the output country. Select in string informatics practice at 2022, comma four. You have to check the occurrence of four. Is four is available in the string? Yeah, you can find out over four. And what is the first character over here in the substring? That is F. F is occurring in which position? That is occurring in third position. So the output for this function is three. Then three plus 45, that is 48 is your output, okay? Next one, select length of the string is part. Length means it will return the number of characters, including the spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So that is your output. So you can see country forty-eight, nineteen. Okay. Now what? Or part of this one? 
this is a table given product you want to fetch the first four character from the column three name so first four character means what you want to use the left function so select left p name comma four from product to display the stock um, total stock that is how to calculate quantity into price with p name so p name column also needed so that is missing so select p name comma you write quantity into price here you can write in the quotation marks um total stock this will be the column name even if you use as keyword also there is no problem from product then to display the details of product whose price is more than 12 uh, 1200 so select staff from product where price greater than 1200 so that is in c1 so you want to write, mention the sql function for the right in the same and you want to write the query also so you can mention first one what is the sql function left is the function here what is the function here doesn't have a function no here we are directly using no function used okay so wherever function use you mention the function so arpana is working with functions of mysql explain her the following uh, of student table so there's a student table roll number name dob fees to display the name in uppercase so this column has to be converted into uppercase so what is the function uppercase or uppercase isn't it so how she will write select upper or it, instead of upper you can write uppercase also and what is the column to be passed name here when we are passing the column name don't put the quotation mark because we want to get the value from that particular column then from student table to display the name in ascending order so select name from student order by name okay since ascending order is the default one no need to specify like the, the keyword uh, if you want to specify keyword you can use ASC also to display the younger student name from the student table a student with the maximum DOB will be have is the youngest one because you know that maximum student means its number will be date of birth will be uh, the youngest student in that particular student. So select name comma max of DOB from student. So hence the nine question also got over. What is the purpose of group by close in MySQL? How is it different from order by close? You know that group by close is used for summarizing the result. It is used to, to filter the groups. We will be using having close also. And uh, it will be used, it can also use to what it will be it can also use aggregate function along with that the group by close whereas order by close means what it is to display the records in either in ascending or descending order by default it is ascending order and to make it default uh, descending order we have to use the keyword dsc along with that also explain an example here it is not given but sql query one example please do give that will be an added advantage. Whenever definition is asked, please do give an SQL query example. Section C, four marks each. Question number 11, table is given. So to display the G code and description of each garment, that means you want to group by garment and in the descending order of G code. So what is that? You want to display it. So here, select G code comma, um, each garment, sorry, group by is not needed. Uh, we have to sort out only, okay? So select G code comma description from garment order by G code in the descending order, DSC. Okay. Then to display the details of all garment which have ready-made is between, um, ready-made, uh, sorry, ready date is between these two dates. Both the dates are inclusive means or between and or operator you have to use on. So let's start from garment where ready date between these dates you have to give in. So instead of this, you have to, sometimes you have to give on like 2007-12-08 and 2008-06-16. Then to display the average price of all the garments which are made of fabric with the F-code, you know that, what is that the function for average? So F-code comma AVG of price from garment and you want to get it with the F-code, so group by F-code and having that F-code is equal to F03, you want to get the condition also. Then to display the G-code whose price is more than 1000, so select G-code comma price from garment where price greater than 1000. So here it is given like what? You want to display average price which are made of fabric with the F code, okay, as F3. 
uh, even if you didn't use directly the group by, you can also use like select F code from a ABC of price from garment where F code is equal to F3, that also will work for you, will get the output. Question number 12, okay. Question number 12 is again a SQL table. You can see that there's a table interiors, okay. Select star from interior where type equal to sofa. Star means all the columns you want to mention. In that sofa, you just see the table and mention all those things, all the tables you needed, output only, okay. And again, select item name from interior where price is greater than 10,000. Just check on price, which all prices are greater than their item name you want to mention. Mention the item name only. So item name is enough, okay. This number itself, number also you can skip on because you, you, it's not mentioned that item, a number is not mentioned. So item name is enough. Select type comma count star from India group by type. You want to group it by type and having type equal to baby code. So check on wherever baby code is there. So that count only wanted. So type count star. So baby code is four time appearing. So this is the output. Select item name from comma price from here where discount greater than 20. Check on the table very carefully. There is 20 greater than 20 wherever discount is coming. Okay. So this is one is having greater than 20. So based on that, you will be getting the item name and price. Okay. It is a question with internal choice. So what we have to do, um, help him to identify the primary of the above table and what is the cardinality and degree of the table. So here the primary key of the table. So what is the primary key of this table? Here you know that this is the unique key. So which is identifying the record that is so number. So that's the primary key and what is the degree and cardinality? Degree stands for what? Degree stands for number of columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is the degree. And what is the cardinality? Cardinality stands for number of records. How many records are there? 13. So degree is equal to six and cardinality equal to 13. Now moving to last question, question number 13. So it's from a study is question from networking. So this is Edu Mines University of India starting the first campus. And uh, in small town, Palampur of Central India with its central admission office in Delhi. And you have three major buildings comprising admin, academic and research five kilometer in the campus. You want to answer the given four questions based on this. This is the um, plan given. Okay, and the distance between the buildings are also given. Expected number of computers in each buildings are given. Suggest the authority to the cable layout. Here you can just mention star topology. Based on the server, when we are connecting, you can go to the star topology, okay? Only you want to draw for this Delhi, that is the campus building, this building only, Padampur campus only you want to draw on. So these three blocks is enough for drawing. And based on that, if a server, if we are considering server side, so academic building is having more number of computers. So from that, you can connect to each building. You can see it is academic is having more computers. So server, so that is star topology. Suggest the most suitable place to house the server in this organization. You know that academic building is having maximum number of computers. So according to 8020 rule, where we, the server will be placed there, where maximum number of computers are installed. Suggest an efficient device to be installed in each of the building to connect the computer. So, so in each of the building, which is a device we have to connect. So switch is the efficient device to be simply rather than writing switch, you write switch is the efficient device to be installed in each of the building to connect all the computers. Next one, fourth one, suggest the name of the system, software or hardware, which university should install to prevent the unauthorized access from the university's local area network. So, you know that to prevent that, uh, it's a hardware software, you want to install what? Firewall. So, we have done that one. So, university should install firewall system to prevent the unauthorized access. So, we have covered our another sample paper also. So children, uh, keep learning. We will come with another paper. And till then, bye. And do share this paper video with your friends and do subscribe. Thank you.